Luke Michael Howard, PhD in clinical hypnotist from LukeGnosis.com here. And today's video is entitled, Can I Be Hypnotized? The answer is no. You can't. You can't be hypnotized. You're that special person. You're that person. All the 5,000 plus people that I've worked with that have been hypnotized, you're that one person that's so completely or unhypnotizable that I couldn't possibly hypnotize you. You won. You beat me. No, I can't hypnotize you. You're very special. Yeah, listen, I'm being a bit sarcastic. I blame the Eng my English parents for that. But hypnosis is very very simple we just need three things to be in place if these three things are in place and you can say yes to the following three things then the answer to the question is absolutely you can be hypnotized are you ready is your IQ above 70 now even if you were very developmentally delayed your IQ might be above 70 maybe 75 80 but even if, even if you were severely developmentally delayed as long as your IQ is above 70 you can totally be hypnotized do you want to be there? Meaning, are you, is someone holding a gun to your head? Is someone forcing you to be there against your will? Are you just coming to see me or another hypnotist because you want to tell your partner, well, I tried that hypnosis, but even that didn't work for me. Gosh darn it, I guess I'm going to keep smoking cigarettes or stuff in my face with too much food. If you really want to be there and you want to be there for yourself, you're not being bullied or cajoled by someone else, even if they're well-meaning, if you're there for you, then you totally can be hypnotized. And the third thing that we need for you to be hypnotized successfully is you've got to be able to follow simple instructions. Meaning, if I look at you and say, hey, if it's safe right now, you're not driving or anything, and if you are driving, you should not be watching this video, turn it off. All right, you're not driving, good. If I ask you to close your eyes, you close your eyes. It's not that I ask you to close your eyes and you're doing this. I had this woman the other day, I had to ask her three times, go ahead, close your eyes and keep your eyes closed. And she did this. I'm like, go ahead and keep your eyes closed. She opened her eyes. This happened again in the session. I'm like, just keep your eyes closed. And she opens up the, her eyes. I don't know what that proved, it's really silly. If I ask you to do something like simple, like close your eyes and you can do it and keep your eyes closed, then totally you can be hypnotized. You have to be quite intelligent to be hypnotized. So we need those three things in place. Your IQ needs to be above 70. You need to be there for yourself, even if it does posit positively uh, impact other people in your life. And you have to be able to follow simple instructions like close your eyes. If you can do all of those three things, then you can totally be hypnotized. Because hypnosis is just suggestion and you're totally suggestible. If you were not suggestible, you wouldn't be able to learn to speak your language, to walk, to learn the alphabet, to learn math, and what, to learn to drive a car, to ride a bike. These are all merely suggestions, and that's all hypnosis is. It's merely a suggestion. And the very fact that you've learned anything in your life means that you are inherently suggestible. So you can be hypnotized. Now you could choose to hire me, pay me a whole lot of money, come into my office and not do anything that I ask you to do so you could leave and you could be right like that hypnosis didn't work. You could choose to do that, but you wasted your time, my time and your money. But why would you want to do that? It makes no sense. It's stupid. So if you're willing to come in, you want some help to be changed, IQ above 70, you really want to be there for you, even if it does impact other people for the positive. Um, and also that you can follow simple instructions like close your eyes, realizing you're already suggestible because you've learned so many things in your life, even if that's just to put one foot in front of the other foot, then you can be totally hypnotized. Because I haven't met that one person yet, that one person in 5,000 who can't be hypnotized. But I'm sure one day I'll meet that magical person and I'll be the best magical, powerful person in the world because they can't be hypnotized. It's ridiculous, it's silly. We can all be hypnotized. It's a beautiful thing and it gives you more control of your life and your emotional state so you can change your life. Hypnosis is about giving you control back in your life, not about taking it away. I've been Luke Michael Howard from Luke Gnosis. Always believe.